Before we start this lesson, I'd like to show you how to customize your user interface. Adobe has dramatically changed the user interface in the CS6 by giving us the dark interface. I personally find it difficult to see which tool I'm in, so I like to go back to something a little closer to what I am accustomed to. I'm on a Mac, so I can find my preferences under Illustrator, Illustrator Preferences. If you are on a PC, you will find them under Edit. You can go to User Interface, and here you have a drop down menu. You can go actually back to Light, which is what Illustrator was in previous versions, but I am compromising on medium light, which works okay for me. And then you just click OK. And that's your interface. So anytime you throw away your preferences and go back to default, you're going to get the dark interface. So just be aware that you can customize that. Um, before I start, I'm going to uh, go here to default stroke and fill, uh, which is a white fill and a black stroke. I'm going to choose my ellipse tool, start at the crosshairs, and draw a circle, holding down my shift key to constrain to a perfect circle. So going to my direct selection tool, I get my bounding box. And if I click and drag, it will scale from the left, and uh, like that. That's not really what I want, so Command-Z. What I want it to do is scale from the center. So I hold down my Option key, and now it scales to the center, just like I want. I think I'm going to go to No Fill here. I'm going to change that down here in my tool panel. And I'm going to zoom in on this so I can see better what I'm doing. Select it with my Selection tool so I can see my bounding box. And now I want to rotate copies of this petal around the center. And if I just click on my rotation tool, you'll see that Illustrator automatically actually puts my rotation point just where I want it. But I'm going to kind of ratify that by going to the center here. You can see I get a little green message telling me at the center. And I'm going to hold down my Option key and click to bring up the Illustrator dialog box. Now I want to duplicate and rotate this shape uh, with a value that will divide equally into 360. So in this case, I'm going to try 30 and click Copy. That's good. I can go to Ob Object Transform, Transform again, or Command D, D, D. Perfect. Now I go back to my selection tool to get my bounding box. And what I want to do is select all of these shapes and group them so that one click will select all of them. And there's a handy little uh, tool up here in your control panel, Select Similar Options. And you can also find that under the Select menu, Select Same. And I'm just going to select Same Fill and Stroke. And now my bounding box encompasses all of these. And I can just go Object Group. So this is really great because one click gets these all now. And that will allow me to rotate those. And just so we can kind of see what's going on, I'm going to make that a color, a yellow gradient here. And I'm going to, with that selected, go back to my Rotate tool. Hold down my Option key and click in the center once again. In this case, I don't want to rotate it 30 again. I want to rotate it 15 and click Copy. Now you can see I have two different sets that are making up sort of an interesting looking flower. Um, I don't like that black outline, which was there earlier for us to uh, see what was going on. So I'm going to get rid of that. Escape. No stroke. That's much better. 
So the next thing I want to do is scale this uh, orangey uh, top flower so that it becomes smaller, like what we see down here. So I'm going to go to now my scale tool, which is right next to the rotate tool. I'm going to select the scale tool. And actually, before I do that, I'm going to zoom in so you can see better what I'm doing. Back to selection, back to scale. I'm going to go to the center here and hold down my option key and click. That has set the scale point to the center. I'm going to uh, scale it uniform and I'm going to just try 80% and see how I like that. In this case I don't want copy, I just want OK because I don't want to make a copy. Oh yeah, that looks fine. So um, now uh, my flower is basically done. Um, only thing I really need to do is add a center here. And um, you can see I kind of played around with rotation and scale to make a kind of a complicated center to my flower. Uh, but I think that you can do equally well uh, just employing the skills that we've already developed. Uh, I'm going to go to my ellipse tool here and go to the center and hold down my shift and option keys to make a center. Maybe um, make that a uh, solid color. I'm going to try that kind of a dark brown, maybe, kind of like a daisy center. Um, and then I'm going to leave uh, this actually up to you to decide what you want your flower to look like. So this is a chance for you to play around a little. Um, sometimes it's helpful when you've got a lot of shapes going on here to go to outline view so that you can see where your center is. Um, I'm going to get my ellipse tool here and maybe just make a little ellipse holding down my option key so it'll go out from the center. And let's Go back to preview to see what I have there. It's yellow. That's good. Outline view. And I'm going to go to my rotate tool, hold down my option key, click on the center to get my dialog box. And uh, 30 looks good to me here. So let's do 30 and do copy. And then command D, 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 D. And let's go back to preview and see how that looks. Ah, that's kind of a good start. I can go to select here and select same, fill and stroke. And as long as that's the only um, thing on the artboard that I have in that fill and stroke, it'll select them all. I can go group. Then I can uh, just try a combination of the various tools that we have learned, such as the scale tool. It shows me the center there, so hold down the option key and try maybe 60% and in this case, copy. Yeah, that worked out okay and you can play with different fills, um, different uh, strokes. Uh, Really, your imagination is the only limit.